This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Well, those photos of the black hole we saw back in April got a lot of attention. It took years of collaboration from scientists around the world. One of them is actually a graduate student at the U of A. He played a pretty important role in helping speed up the data being processed so we can see these images with the naked eye. Nine on Your Side's Veronica Vernaccio explains how his research is only the beginning. Mark Whitney, good morning. The graduate student Arash Ro um, Roshashad first joined the EHT or the Event Horizon Telescope project back in 2017 as an intern. He was part of the team working on the speed of processing that data. He says these images are going to help scientists in the future. Before these images were captured, everything scientists knew about a black hole was based off of theories. He says he's currently working on helping with the next steps for this project, which include being able to process the data even faster and discovering more black hole images. Mark Whitney. All right, Veronica, thanks so much. Three students in Arizona have been arrested for having fentanyl in their summer school program. Yeah, investigators say the students had more than 3,000 pills on them. They are known as M30s and they can have deadly side effects. Police arrested the students in San Luis, Arizona. The three teens are now facing some charges. Two of them will be tried in court later today. The Border Patrol chief for the Tucson sector says when lots of agents go to arrest large groups of migrants, it makes it easier for smugglers to move into the U.S. We recently sat down with the chief. Border Patrol says at one point, infrared video showed 134 men, women, and children walking through a gap in the border fence near Sassabee. The Tucson sector chief, who you see here, Roy Villarreal, says handling that many people forces the agency to send extra agents, which then creates gaps in protection. Northwest Fire investigators are looking into what caused a fire at a storage unit near Ina and I-10 early this morning. The district tweeted out this video and says 32 units were involved. 14 of them had some fire damage. The rest had smoke damage. Officials in the Phoenix area are reporting the first heat-related death of the year. The Maricopa County Health Department says a homeless man was found in a car and was dehydrated, but they did not say when and where the man died. We've seen an increase in temps after some cooler weather. According to the CDC, heat is the number one cause of death out of all natural disasters in the U.S. All right, well, Taja Davis is here now. She's got a look at our forecast for the day and the rest of the week. Taja, good morning to you. Good morning, Mark and Whitney. And a height in the temperatures is correct. We are going to be expecting 98 degrees for tomorrow and for Friday. And then check this out. We are going to be expecting to see temperatures hit 100 degrees. Now, it is unusual that we haven't had our first 100 degree day just yet. But I'm pretty confident with all of the days that we have. We have four days forecasted for 100 degree temperatures. I think that we are going to hit that 100 degree day very, very soon.